All right, um, I guess to start off, Kyle, did you want to explain to the guys like what the idea of a low tad is and like the motivation behind it? Oh yeah, so a low tad is a well optimized tool assisted demonstration. Basically, it's a very bad task where you put a lot less effort in, but you show you give a, um, a proof of concept to anything really. Yeah. So in this category, the all medallions category, we are obtaining all the medallions, either from source or RBA, SRM, and then just be in the game. So in this in this low tad, I will be doing just that, but faster than world record. Yeah, this will be good. This will be good. So yeah. Um... We should, we should be seeing some pretty cool tricks. And um, do you prefer doing these low tads over, say, like a full TAS? Like a um, proper TAS, in, like, you know, in the traditional sense? Right now, yes. But I think with this category, with all medallions, I will be doing it as a full TAS at some point. I just don't have the time. Yeah, fair call. Yep. All right, guys. So hope you guys are ready. Kyle, let's, shall we, shall we begin? Yeah. All right. I will get the timer ready because, uh, let's see how this goes. Should be good. Should be good. All right. So I guess you start time. Shit. All Same right. as file select. <laughs> that was it's a quick file select. <laughs> yeah, frame perfect. <laughs> So um, you mentioned in chat earlier that um, you made this all on console, right? Yeah, so I made this on Wii Virtual Console using the practice ROM called GZ. Um, this has a lot of tasking tools, but at the same time, it doesn't really. The only tasking tools we have are frame events, save states, and re-records. And so I used these tools to achieve pretty much a perfect run for a human while still doing human capable strats and someone also asked in chat how long it took this took three days i started this um friday morning and ended monday no started saturday ended monday night wow and was that and like then, solid like eight hour like you know an eight hour day three days or just like couple of hours on the each day on those three days saturday was i think i put five hours in and that was from intro just to the end of butterfly srm and then sunday was redoing the srm to get it more a bit optimized sunday was all end game which wow. is fire oh yeah fire temple <laughs> and, a, and a 10 minute cutscene oh yeah 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 that i had to do twice so that's a bathroom break for sure <laughs> this is your first bathroom break by the way you have like two minutes left or so yeah about a minute or two and what i love about this task straight away is that no blue text boxes like most optimal text mashing <laughs> yeah so here's the thing uh, gz doesn't have scripts yet so i did all these by hand Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, no. So all these were done by hand. Um, but there is word by Goink himself that if he does put in uh, tech like scripts, it will take about a year to implement that. Whoa. That's but it. it was fun. It actually didn't take as long to do text scripts, like text, as you would imagine. Because there's actually a good visual cue. Um, where like any of the last punctuation marks, like the dots, uh, exclamation points, question marks, the, you advance two more frames and then you press A on it. Oh. There are some cases like Navi where you have to advance three frames at the end to get her text box because hers goes a bit longer. Gotcha, gotcha. So um, in, in terms of making this on console, did you like, like, let's say for example, you were trying to go through a text box and you screwed up a frame perfect box would you then have to then load the state again replay it, and then save it as a macro or something uh no so if you're doing it in a macro like in this case you just simply reload that state where the text where you save the text box in and you just redo it from there gotcha 
And then once you export it, it'll save back into that macro. Um, frame perfect. Huh. There you go. So it looks like here you're going to get sword. Yeah. So I should mention, this is the no partial function credits. Not credits, but calls uh, route. I did initially have a low pause of the original all medallions route. Sadly, that died. Uh, desynced at the end somehow. Oh no. I actually desynced at the start. On the third watch back. Oh. So I'm trying to fix that. By desync, you mean like desync from inputs to. Yeah, so when you hear me reference desyncs, basically all that means is that um, the game, like the macro itself, interpreted a input wrong. So you can, it can happen a lot of different ways, like RNG wise even. But most of the time when I had done this, it was uh, input wise for uh, desyncs. Yeah. This is already looking pretty, pretty sure. clean for a low tad, dude. I'm pretty sure we just saw a infrared cam bridge clip. <laughs> that was sick. Took me two hours to get that. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. Yeah. For an easy frame perfect trick, it took two hours. Man, we do it for... We do it for the optimal, right? Yeah. So all the frame, frame perfect things in this run are side hops, if are needed. Uh, rolls are frame perfect, text is frame perfect, tricks are frame perfect, and equips are frame perfect. For that ASMR. That ASMR. Dude, that was like and a 503 boxes. escape. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. You can get... I'm pretty sure you can get like a 5 minute flat escape. Um, I'm just not that good yet. Dude, a 5 minute flat escape would be deadly. I think one of ZFG's... Will Ted's got a five minute escape. I think it was his Hundo no SRM. Human theory. Whoa. Did he make it? Yeah. Wow, I didn't he realize ZFG was into making this stuff. Yeah, he's done two human theory. Well, he's done two Will Ted's for the two previous Hundo routes with SRM. Evan, he's done a max percent child Will Ted a couple days ago. Wow. Damn. But when you made his human theory task for no SRM, he had to do it in sections because GZ couldn't record uh, through resets. Oh. Which, which this version does re uh, record through resets. We have that command now. Sweet. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy. Like the more I think about it, how much tools have progressed over the last like year alone. And like Glenn's yeah. just been going ham. <laughs> yeah, there is a... Um, MQ runner uh, Skirty, who's actually making a DDM two pause task, like full on legit optimized task and everything on GZ. Oh, Skirty, yeah, he used to do OOT. Yeah. Oh, he does MM now. He does MQ. Oh, MQ. He sorry. does Master Quest. Right, right. Okay, he's making a DDM two pause task. <laughs> it looks really clean so far. Um, I'm. I just love, I love watching Tasses personally because it just it just shows you what's, how like much what's more possible. we have to go. Yeah, what's possible. Oh yeah, shots to the inverted cam moments. I threw those in because they're easy to do. May as well. Inverted cam is like the best, right, guys? I I, like, I we always... can see where we're going now. You can't complain. So ha have to, having said that, that West confused me. I wasn't sure which direction you'd hold. Yeah. So, um. With inverted cam, once you like enter the water, your controls get back inverted, so you can hold right, like ESS down right, and you'll still go to the left, apparently. Uh... I'm so- There's another instance where that happens, except it's with a house. Right. I'm so paranoid getting like ISG with this chicken here and turning around, because I've had cases where like I turn around and for some reason Link drops the chicken. So, oh yeah, no, I've had uh, that happen where except as I turn around, he just starts spinning around and gets ISG that way. <laughs> like he starts spinning, gets the cuckoo angry, and I'm like, dude, I just want a back walk. <laughs> like there's instances in the game where you can just target the cuckoo and he just starts spinning. <laughs> so way in the bottom of the water, get choose, right? Yeah. 
That's all we need. It's just standard, uh, like any standard route. Just go get uh, trees. No bottle though. Dude, this movement. <laughs> <laughs> nice inverted sideways cam. Oh, I should mention this does not do the save warp at the start here. What the uh, yeah, the trees? I forgot to do that. Ah, oh, getting the west from here, nice. Yeah, this was fairly new. Um, when I say that, about like a year ago or so. Just no one does it besides Cal, I think. Oh, champ Cal. Uh, count OG. Oh, count count. Yeah. I don't know if Cal does it. Very well, good. But counts is the mach counts is the machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's nuts. <laughs> Alright, weapon swap. Yeah, so it is faster technically to save warp here, but I forgot about it. So I was following your uh, your record run. So I wanted to keep it kind of close to that. Yeah, well, technically I don't have record anymore. Paint, Paint's oh, got true. it. Oh, true. Paint has it. Well, I was following Paint's, but I was following your... I was like watching your stream when I started this. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. So, the I mean, they both used the same start, so it wouldn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah, that that has so clean. Yeah, so to talk about the to answer the question chat about like the sliding back through Harvard Field, uh, we did a Hess there, hyper extended super slide. Basically, when we roll into an explosion with our ESS or extended super slide, this doesn't have a speed cap. So whatever speed you go into like water or a bomb with, you retain that speed. So if we target, if we hold ESS target and shield on the second turn of the, uh, going into the explosion, we get negative 18 as our knockback speed, and we can retain that and just go anywhere. So we don't need a point of pretty much. Oh, so it's, so it's actually setting a, a negative value. Yeah, because you you keep your knockback value that the game will give you from the explosion. Yeah. Or jump start speed from water. Right, right. Here we go. Man, this SRM is so clean. <laughs> no, This is what it looks yeah. like, those pause, no pause buffers. There is like one or two of them that were done in RTA. Because I will admit, all of this was done for advance, but with RTA movement. Yep. Um, for some reason, some of like two of these, it was like Hylian Shield and another just I could not get from advanced. Yep. So. But it's showing me that like, you can be really quick with these inputs and it will still work. Oh yeah. Uh, we should probably explain what we're doing yeah. right now. <laughs> so this is still reference manipulation, uh, more precisely butterfly SRM. How this works is basically when we grab the token that we grabbed with a bomb chew, um, it loads in that data of like the bomb chew and you grab the token at the same time. When it blows up, this bomb chew becomes stale, hence stale reference manipulation. And when the camera pans, we load the butterfly. So the butterfly is now in the bomb chew slot, like technically in our in our actor data. And depending on the angle we have, we can modify this butterfly into like a chest, if you will, and just give us multiple items based on our angles. And so with this, we got bomb shoes, hook shot, like this launch shot, uh, a fish. We're gonna get broken, Gorn sword, and then as well as the prescription for later. Oh, so that's what's actually happening. So, um, is it? Are you, is it, um, so when you said the bomb chew goes stale, is it because you're loading- Like it's reference goes stale, yeah. Because you're loading, because as the camera pans, you're loading in the butterfly. So then the game's like, well, we have to put something to replace the bomb chew anyways. It throws the butterfly in. Oh, and, and, the, and the reason is because you pick up the, the bomb chew token and as the chew explodes, is that it? Yeah. Because uh, okay. usually you're not supposed to be able to hold anything in your hand and grab a token. Yep. And so when it blows up, it's kind of stale anymore. It's not existent. 
Yeah. But as it blows up, we're laying in the butterfly, so the game throws the butterfly in. And this is what makes it fall down grabbable. Uh, okay, that makes so much sense now, right. Oh yeah, we also did back block inverted chew hess. <laughs> um, over the, to the market. <laughs> that was cool. That was sick. Yeah, I was going to show you that clip. I was going to show you a clip of that for the, the hess, but I thought, well, you might as well see it in the showcase. Yeah. So, um, will this be unlisted after this? Like, will you let this be, like, viewable to everyone? Yeah, I'll make it public after. Heck yeah. During the credits, I'll make it public, and then I'll probably drop a link in. Yeah, absolutely. That'll be sick. Do you guys have any nice questions Nice untargeted in chat? dot skip. Yeah, I saw that as well. <laughs> if you have any questions I... in chat, guys, just feel free to jump in. Yeah. I wanted to do swordless dot skip because it is faster, but I didn't think about it. Ah, oh, that inverted cam. Yeah. A lot of people tend to complain that uh, when you backlock, you can't see where you're going, so you're welcome for that, for the inverted cam. It's true. That's true. You make up for it, right? Yeah. So here is a 10 minute bathroom break. Uh, we have this cutscene, and then we have Lax immediately. Oh, so yeah, feel, feel free, go use the bathroom, get, some, get a snack, something to drink, stretch. Yeah. Kyle's not lying, by this, the way. It's legit a 10 minute bathroom. Yeah, break. this is like a three minute cutscene. And then this is like a one or this is like a some minute cutscene. And then we have like a seven minute um, for a wax. <laughs> we don't go to the bathroom. We got a gamer <laughs> bottle. True. Okay. okay. <laughs> <Funny> <laughs> There's actually an OOT runner whom I won't name. Many years ago, he was on a really sick pace for a GSR speed run. Really? And he bot he bottle peed. <laughs> oh my god. It was just like, guys, I have to pee. But he was on like, I think at the time, he was on like sub 120 pace. And back then, I think Dude. WR was like 118 or something. Yeah. So he was, was like, I have to use this bottle. <laughs> nice. Okay, if, if you have questions, guys, feel free to, feel free to drop them down when we got time. This is a great time for uh, a good Kita story, but we don't have Kita on, on comms. <laughs> Shouts to Kita, dude. He's a great guy. The OIT community has been really thriving lately. Like, there's yeah. been some a lot of new faces over the last like year alone, and some like really new yeah. runners who are like climbing up and just going ham. Like, I swear, like Count came out of nowhere. Count, he. Came out of nowhere for MST, like he really did. I mean, he popped in GSR too. Yeah, he was just like, hi. Was just At like, one point, it used to be him versus Valiant for world record. Yeah, it was and then he moved to MST. He's destroying MST now too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy on his improvement. And then there's Jake Wright, who came in the scene with, um, with GSR as well. Yeah, because didn't he Ooh, get, like, sub-130 within, like... On like... Emu, with the Xbox controller that he cut notches into. Yeah. <sighs> wow. And then he moved to VC, and then popped off even more. And then he gets world record in all medallions with text transfer. Oh, did he, he gets really? the sub-1. Yeah, he got a 59 or 58 with text transfer. Holy crap. Like, That's... we knew... So before text transfer was a thing, you could do 116th and get sub one easily. Right. But this has made it possible even with one, like you could get probably a 58 or 57 with uh, 116th. The problem is we have no 1.2 route made as of now. Oh. So far it's just been 1.0. I see, I see. But basically, if you want to do it on 1.2, you would just do Pokey Escape, OI Dive, and Bond Well, and then follow the Ganonless VC route. Um, and get Prescription before uh, Bolero. Okay. Huh. I wonder which MST route is fastest now. I think... I think it's still VC, because Jungle Jump and something else. I think maybe QPA would be something. 
I have to see which route Count does, because my MST route is like severely outdated. <laughs> see, I haven't ran MST. It's fun. It's just, it's super punishing. Yeah. I tend to stay away from like wrong warp heavy categories, even though like MST doesn't really do any wrong warps that I know of. Um, let me um, think. We do fired. Wait, we 1080 now. Oh, yeah, you 1080 to Gen's castle, right? And yeah. then you do. And I think we do Jabu to DC now. We do the Dong Door. Yep. That's what I meant by out there. Like, my route doesn't even do that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this cutscene. I keep. I yeah, remember this is when, a five-part cutscene. It's great. I remember when like single item SRMs were possible. I was like trying to theory craft like, could we somehow skip this bit? <laughs> well, we actually, we can skip. We can skip the first four parts with SRM. Yeah. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. There's an SRM in Lost Woods that you can do, where. You can warp with like the Ferris Wind warp point, entrance point thing. Play Southern Song, and then you warp into the very last part of the cutscene where you get light arrows. Oh. Hundo does that too. Oh, Hundo actually does it? Yeah, they do it as child. They do like the, they do adult SRM. Whoa. And they do age change, and then they do that wrong warp into the cutscene and see it as child. Right. Is and age then, change hard to do? No, not really. Okay. I should look into it for uh, CD as adult. And title file, I suppose, because it would save a lot of time. Is title it file like, difficult or is it... Um, I don't remember. I think the only different part would be counting the beats in the music and the Kokiri Forest. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Because you have to move in a way that you follow uh, the beats. Yeah, yeah, I remember this now. But it would be a heck of a lot faster than single item it would SRMs. Be. Yeah. I mean, the the rules for child dungeons as adult doesn't say we can't do partial function calls. This is true. So it is probably worth looking into. Yeah. Also, for that cutscene, that flashback, you actually do go child in that cutscene. So that's how like if, that's how like Ferris went on B works in the RBA route for this category. Yep. I can't remember what what, what are we RBA in? Um, are we RBA uh Broken Goron Sword, right? Yeah, you RBA Broken Goron Sword, and now do it your White Medallion, Fire Medallion. Actually, that doesn't give you Fire Medallion at all. It gives you all of them, but that. Yeah, it's really annoying. And in the now. RBA route, you would wrong warp back into White Medallion cutscene to get both medallions. Yeah, I remember that. Like, we'd have to, like, go fire to, like, light medallion cutscene. Yeah, and then, like, and then well, from gotta watch white medallion. <laughs> yeah, and then from white medallion to Goron City to end game. I just remember the first time I did a run of this route, like, I think some guy in chat was just like, dude, this is gonna save so much time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be crazy. It's a whole 30 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, because we weren't sure how quick it was going to be. And then I, th I think my first completed run was like, I think 38. And everyone oh, yeah, was just yeah. like, holy crap. I'm like, yeah, I think we just found a faster route. Yeah, if you guys want to like predict your final times, go ahead. Oh, yeah, predictions. I want to see what y'all think of. We, we can do predictions in chat now. Like, there's, there's like that there's that feature. Yeah. I don't know how, I don't know how it works, though. Here, go ahead. I don't know how to set it up. Predict? I think mods and, um, yeah, mods and uh, streamer can start it. They do it. Ah, oh. uh, sign has. Predictions with no space to get up, to get the menu up. Ah. Okay. Do that. So. Pretty much, as we said, kind of the White Medallion cutscene. You just, in the RBA route, you go to Garn City afterwards. We're going to do that here, except we're going to do some things a bit different. As you can see, we still have, like, Sword on B. Since we did SRM, this route changes a lot. 
I love this house. There's one thing I need to personally get more comfortable with. It's angle changing. You, you're going to love, uh, I believe it's in this one. There's a really cool bomb tree pull has that you're going to love. Ooh. From uh, Darunia's room. I'm not going to say like when, but it, it's in a Hess. I know that. And just reverse camera mega side hop because why not? <laughs> Dude, I this one's even untargeted too. So you can see like where you clip in. Oh, I guess. Yeah, right there. For some reason, when you let go of Z in that side hop, you just untarget way later than you're supposed to. Oh. <laughs> and I forgot to take damage here, so I have to wait a bit. But we're going to do Deathless uh, Bolero. Not even Deathless, we die. But I should have taken a heart of damage somewhere. Ah, it's all good. It's a low tad. It's a low tad, Don't exactly. Be so optimal. I, 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 I've seen... I remember this one low tad I watched like some time ago and um, I think it was like what you said. It was just purely to demonstrate the route and like they didn't make any optimizations with like movement, but yeah. you're, you're, you're making optimizations with like movement and stuff. Yeah. I think the one you're thinking of is a uh, reverse box order. I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here's that head I was talking about. Uh, <laughs> we pulled the bomb chain. We has all up the stairs and by the time we get to the rocks, it blows and we continue the hess. That's sick. That's actually pretty yeah. pog, using that to ex- wow. So there actually is a way to hiss through Mido. Oh, um, really? Yeah, all, dun uh, yeah, all Dungeons No Doors does it. And spoilers of it, my child Dungeons as a doll Lotad does it too. Ooh. It's a, if you don't do um, Nervous S's, where you um, walk between ESS left and right every frame, it's a one frame on target. You have one friend that what goes you to do it. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, that it's really cool when you see it though. Reminds me of Waterfall Wes. For like, oh my god, yeah. No SR, uh, defeat Ganon, no SRM. Yeah. So we need a unload King Zora for the eyeball, and we don't have blue fire, but conveniently, if you pull out any cutscene item while he's loaded, unload him and reload him, he's unfrozen. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but we can do this to get Eyeball Frog and Zora Tunic. Uh, yeah, I remember someone asked me, why does that work? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> it's something with having a text box up while he's like loaded, like correlates to Blue Fighter, I think. Oh. I don't know, but I used to have a uh, world record for like a day of Zora Tunic uh, RTA no SRM. That's a, that's a category? Some, uh, it never got officially on the leaderboard because no one ran it, really, and no one really submitted it to SRC but me and uh, RTA Dan. Oh, yeah. So, but well, I was like four or five of us started running it and just putting our times in uh, the PB, but it never got put up. Aww. I thought that's what the main categories were for. Because a lot of people wanted to like, just use SRM, like, but I made it so we ban SRM, dude. Yeah, like why not include it, right? Yeah, so what we did there was we did Frozen Timer. Um, pretty much any kind of timer cut, like timer item, like Eyeball Frog, will expire if you warp away. But if you warp with Kokiri Tunic on, your Heat Timer takes priority. So if we void out right as the game is supposed to load you back to King Zora in this case, your timer will get frozen to zero seconds. If you warp, you get up to one second. So Ooh. we can use this for a very neat warp later on. But first, we're going to need to skip Darunia just for a little bit. Well, I've never seen that to like with the pulling an item with ISG. Yeah. Um, so this hookshot is pr very precise. Not for me, apparently, because this, took, this was first try. <laughs> Where are we heading, boys? <laughs> Holy crap, that was so fast. Yeah. So I think the way this works is um, since your hookshot gets interrupted, it's kind of similar to Doom Jump, where the game kind of keeps your velocity, but it 
actually it's not like Doom Jump. It's kind of like the this jump slash into the deck tree cutscene, uh, where yeah. the game just keeps adding speed up to where you're supposed to be. Except that doesn't happen this in this instance. So we land in the room up top, and we can ledge clip and land in the uh, the loading zone to Vlagia. Yeah. yeah, I remember when that hook shot jump got found. It was like so OP. Oh yeah, definitely. So here's Vlagia, pretty standard fight. Well, well, time's coming standard up. in a way. Do you remember how you did this fight, Mikami? Um, when you did this run last? I did it with bomb choose from memory, like crouch stab choose, I think. That would be correct. That's the only way we can do it. Yeah, crouch stab choose. That was. I always get scared yeah. of this bit because I was afraid I'll like miss time a crouch stab or. Yeah. So there is a way to one cycle of Vavagia. Um, if you have bombs, you can do something called one three three. Yeah. Um, you can do this similar thing with bomb juice, except it, it becomes like one. Uh, so what's notable about this particular low tab? Um, what's notable is it's very faster. It, well, it's very well tapped to the record, and it's just really cool to show off like how low this, like how low time can get. And like if you did everything like pretty optimal. Um, like how truly low well it could get. Yeah. Time's coming up. Yup. I don't know if I started timer late or early. I may have started a bit early. Well, I can also say with the final time ones as well. Um, at the end as well, if it's a bit off. Yeah, my, my time, um, I don't know if I started late or I might have started a bit early. We'll have to see. Yeah, it's, it's completely understandable that, um, uh, because of how fast the file select, it, file select was. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, oh shit. Yeah, so put it in perspective. The current world record of this run is 33 minutes and 44 seconds. Keep that shoved in your mind. Because this is roughly, um. Here we go. Boom. Oh no, why didn't it split? Oh no, because I'm. I think I must have splits over. But 30, 30, yeah, 38 so, was what I had. So this RTA is thirty minutes and forty three seconds. That's insane. That's like th three minutes fast. That's like three, four minutes faster than WR. Wait, what's WR at the moment? Record is thirty three minutes and forty four seconds. Thirty three forty four. Who has? Is that is that what Paint's Paint. record is now? That's Paint. That's Paint's record. Thirty-three forty-four. Wow. Holy crap. So if you can play opt like just like this, um, <laughs> thanks Colt. <laughs> so if you can play optimally, kind of like this, you will get around a thirty-minute time with current strats. That's ridiculous. Yeah, 34, 34 minutes, 11 seconds is Payne's world record. This beat it by just over three minutes. That's just, I just, it's like you said, it's just a testament to like how much time yeah, this we still is just, have to save. A, yeah, this is a proof of concept of how good you could get and play. Assuming you don't pause buffer nothing. Yeah, it's like what you said. It's, I, I, I think I like low tads for that, like you said, because it just shows what's humanly possible. We're not doing like... Oh yeah. Really, really like TAS only things. Like everything you did here, we could in theory do RTA. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Um, If I took the extra half part of damage and fixed one little section up, this could have been sub 30. <laughs> that would be insane. It, if I fixed, if I optimized the last two SRMs, like the Halloween shield and I think it was the fish along with that half hour damage this would have been sub 30 clean damn do you think you will uh you'll try again or nah yeah yeah 10 percent faster for doing a low tad task seems pretty normal though yeah but it is pretty normal um task would be sub 30 indefinite maybe like a high 25 ish yeah but it's maybe still, like it's 27 but it's still pretty dope to see though, because like, 
Oh yeah, definitely. It's just good to see like, oh, this is actually like, you know, stuff that RTA runners can work towards. Cause like, you know, I can watch a TAS and be like, oh yeah, that's nice in theory, but this is like, oh wait, no, these are actually possible. Yeah. Like this is all human capable strats, I should say. There was no like TAS only strats done. Um, I did use frame events for them all, but you can do this RTA with pause buffers. You can do all of these RTA. And if you like minimize the pause buffers, then like your time's just gonna plummet. Oh yeah. Good shit, dude. That was that was actually really cool. <laughs> yeah. For for three days, this this was a really good run, and I'm impressed with it. Yeah, I, that, that's the to, to compare. One like all of my other macros I made, like I made a RVA no armor any percent. Cut, like that took a month like all of them previous took a month this took three days that's crazy dude and that's I, so, I want to highlight that for chat as well like yeah kyle did this in three days yeah i started this on uh fr saturday during it might have been friday even it was during the economy stream during your stream <laughs> i started this and then ended it monday night whoa that's hectic. So, um, yeah, I guess we should ask what's next installed. Do you have any other load tads you, you plan to do? Any other task stuff? So right now there is child dungeons as adult, uh, SRM for y'all. Yeah. And then I have a whole list that I need to start or route or finish. Sweet. But the next one will be done probably today or tomorrow. And that's child dungeons as adult. Heck yeah, that would be sick. And um, do you mind if I dunk the, the link for the video into chat? Go ahead. All I'll right. make it public. Heck yeah. So yeah, if you guys want to watch that like uh, at any point, if you just want to learn the run yourself, um, or um, have a, just video another gander. Public. Also, who is this guy? Who's like kind of bad. Not going to lie. Oh, that's... um. That was like a friend of mine, not really a friend now. Um, he used to be an uh, OOT runner, but he, he stopped. Um, yeah, Vanilla Kick W. I was going to say, sounds like a bit of a tool. Uh, I mean, I would never diss someone for making a... Um, I'd never diss someone for making a... Uh, OOT shit lord, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I didn't encounter Part him too much. I, I've never nah. heard of him. But if you think about it, I started doing these low tides a year ago. And I started going, kicking these down like a month to now three days with impressive improvement. I think so. On quality think, wise. Honestly, like, <laughs> I can't even, I don't even know where to begin if I wanted to make a low tad. And the fact that you pulled like, this down three days is like super impressive. Yeah. Like, I have a playlist of them in order like of my test like low tads in order from the rba any percent to a meme category blue percent and now this so wow. you can if you watch them you can see the improvements over time and would you say that like making these tasses it's like it's almost like an art at this point like yeah, to, to an extent, like, Tassian has involved has evolved a lot over the years. Um, not only just like emulator wise, but also tech wise in the game, and also like moving to Japanese instead of English. But it it it's purely made for entertainment. It's not made to show off skill because obviously you know we're doing these frame by frame and doing it making it how we want it to be. And we have full control of RNG and everything. It's pure entertainment and shouldn't be taken competitively, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I think that was sick. I, I'm actually yeah. looking forward to like the, your next one. Should be good. Uh, that, was, that was awesome, Kyle. Thanks for letting me um, do this with you. That was sick. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me. It was really fun. No problems, dude. I do have some shoutouts, if that's okay. Go for it. Yeah, go for it. So, so obviously, thank shoutouts to Mikami Hero for um, letting me showcase this to you guys. Um, you guys are actually my first live viewers 
of seeing a uh, bow tie done. So you guys have been really chill, um, and I appreciate that. Um, no worries, man. Shout out to Painskate. He helped figure out why bomb cheese wouldn't work in the SRM and the the butterfly SRM, I should say. Uh, shout outs, honestly, to ZFG because he he's what got me into these with his uh, human hundo human theory tasks. And he's been supportive on helping me get the right version of GZ and helping me with, uh, with knowledge wise on how to fix desyncs. That's been a problem lately. And just shout out to the OT community, really, for dealing with my, my stupid questions at times. I think the OT um, community is pretty chill. Like, yeah, everyone's really willing to help in my years of being in the community. Like, you get, you get, you get people who might get annoyed, but most people tend to just be like, no, I actually want to, I actually want to help this guy. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Winner. I'm, I'm honestly shocked how three days turned into a three minute uh, head of record and how good the quality was. It, was. it turned out really well. Like, honestly, it didn't feel yeah. like, it didn't feel like, it, it wasn't didn't like, feel too tassy, but it didn't feel like, it didn't feel like too human, too human but it didn't feel too tassy. It was like right in the middle. Exactly. Yeah. Like that's. So it's kind of like a lombre. Like we have like the same, like a low tad is like proof of concepts. Then there's like a low task, which is kind of in between them is full task. So this could be kind of like a low task, low tad, or human theory. It's depending on how you want it, really. And I think... It's kind of in the air. I think more of these runs need to be like, I personally think more of these runs need to be done because like we said earlier, it just, it just shows what we could physically do. Yeah. Without. And it's also the fact that like, this will work on console. This will work on your, if you have the latest version of GZ on your Wii, this will work. Yeah. So Actually, you could use this macro to learn the route if you so wanted. I mean, that could be the next, that could be like the next uh, wave of tutorials, right? Like an interactive tutorial. Yeah. Instead of like people recording YouTube vids, they might just be we like, yo, uh, import these macros and have a watch and kind of dissect and it. Frame events through it, yeah. Frame events through it. You have an input display as well. You can see in like, yeah, I think you can chuck on like memory watches and whatnot. So. This could be like the next way of people learning potentially. And this is how I learn the routes too now is I'll, I'll make a macro and I'll just watch it back and I learn as I make it. Right. So right. over time making this, the yeah, SRM so started getting into my head and I started knowing what to do. Yeah. Because this is going to be the next run I do RTA. Yeah. So. And would you say that by you doing these doing this low tad it's kind of helped do you think it's kind of helped you understand like how some of these tricks work a lot better yeah definitely heck yeah like what i can think of would be um the final run work to credits along with uh the butterfly so i'm just getting the butterfly to be grabbable yeah gotcha gotcha awesome um but yeah where can people find you kyle so you can find me on YouTube. So if you do youtube.com, uh, Kyle Speedruns, if I can type it right. <laughs> Honestly, if you click on the, on the link, you get there. But if you do youtube.com, Kyle Speedruns, you can find me there. You can find me on Twitch. I don't really stream much on there, but I can throw it anyways. That's a go for it. Yeah, why not? You can drop a follow if you want there. YouTube will have more of these tasks and just like other games. Um, I'm doing a project for Find Nuts at Freddy's. Um, that's not done yet. Ooh. But most of the content now will probably be these little tads, these macros. Yeah. Awesome source. Ah, oh, that was sick. Again, well done. Uh, well done, Kyle. That was really, yeah, really fun Yeah, 30 minutes. It does astonish you, really. Sorry? For 30 minutes. It's a good 30 minutes and it astonishes you from level one. 
Yeah, it really does. It's I mean, really I was, good. I was surprised. I was just like, oh, that that <laughs> that file select was so fast. Yeah, that's actually a frame perfect file select. You can't get <laughs> any faster than that. <laughs> Holy crap! All right, buddy. Um, if you've got nothing else, uh, shall we wrap it up? Yeah. Last thing would be just thank you all for for watching once again. It means a lot to me. Thanks, thanks to Makami for. Oh, I'm to share this with you guys. No you worries. Stream this? I'm sure. I'm sure everyone enjoyed it. I, I, I certainly did, and uh, I hope to see more of them as time goes on. Yeah, hopefully one will be out within today or tomorrow. Ooh, Pog Champ. <laughs> All right, buddy. Maybe. So, um, I might go. I might go host Arthur. All right. And um, yeah, I will catch you on the flip side, Kyle. Thanks again. Yeah, no problems. See you on the flip side, man. See ya. See ya.